part of his reality to help him build this white supremacy infrastructure and he turns on you and tries to dump you out of this country after using you and abusing you but while you was over here guess what you did a lot of you turned your backs on African Americans you stole our legacy you took the Dr. Martin Luther King civil rights and all that you I ran with it bro. but you had no respect for black people I don't respect who you. Built this country, who fought this white man for you, you to have the rights either. that you you're actually had. You. you had nerve enough to come over here and think you're white. I'm not white. I don't come here being being white. You had nerve enough to come over here and identify with the white man. I don't identify and with the white man. Problem. You should have been over here waging war and revolution. I'm not waging war or anything. I want to make money. With this goddamn leave. devil. You should be unifying with black people to fight okay. against the struggle for freedom and liberation. Okay. For all people. All right, all right, stop. From white stop. supremacy. Stop. Let me start off by saying this to people in regards to a little bit to issues that I have with this video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the link is down below. Please check it out. He starts off by saying that. This is not an issue. I don't have an issue with Mexicans. I don't. This is not a rant video, basically. It's a rant video, bro. And you do have an issue with Mexicans because you seem really fired up with regards to Mexicans, even though it seems to me that Mexicans are not the only people who come to the United States through the border. You have Hondurans, Colombians, um, Ecuadorians, Salvadorians, Guatemalans. Etc. coming through the border. Cubans as well. Yet, he'll say Mexicans. It's just these Mexicans. Okay. Here's the problem I have with this video. When we come to the United States, we came for one thing. Is to make money. Number two, is to help our families. That's it. It's not, we're not trying to take over a damn fucking thing. We're not trying to kill black people or align with white people or whatever. We just want to make money and live. That's it. That's your, that's the conspiracy theory right there. It's, the answer is simple. We came here to make money and that's it. And help our families. I did not come here to get the American dream. I don't care about that crap. I didn't come here to align myself with white supremacy. I don't care about them. I don't want. I don't see myself as white. I'm not white. Uh, I don't want to align myself with white people. I don't care about white Americans. Who cares about them? Nor do I should I care about black Americans of today. Oh, you our ancestors. Well, uh, you, bro, your ancestors fought for fought for the rights, not you. Why do black Americans, when I get in these debates with them, they start acting like they were a part of the civil rights movement back in the 60s? Dude, it's more likely you were born in the 80s and probably never lived in the 60s. And take credit to a generation that you were not even a part of. And then we had to basically unify with you because of your history? That doesn't make any sense to me. Let me start off by saying this. These are the videos of the reason why I make videos of responses back. A lot of black Americans keep telling me, why are you keep making videos about us? Why are you keep making videos about us? Because videos like this. Not only just black Americans that do this too. White Americans, Mexican Americans, any Americans, and the USA government. See, this is a problem when I get into a real, real discussion. To Americans, and particularly black Americans, they have this thing in their little mind that we're supposed to come here since we're people of color, we have to align with them and follow their narrative. And of course, someone like me rejects and say, Listen, that is your problem, you should go fix it. This is a black American issue, that's not our issue address it on your own terms you are labeled a racist self-hater 
you wish you were Spanish, you want to be white, you align yourself with white supremacy, all because you tell them that is your problem, not my problem. Then he talks about jobs. Ooh, jobs. It's these Mexicans coming here and doing it for less. Okay, let's say you got that correct. These so-called Mexicans. And let's be honest with ourselves. Black Americans can't tell the difference between a Mexican and a Guatemalan or a Honduran or an Ecuadorian. They just can't do it. They just can't. And the reason why I say this to people is Americans to me, have this issue regarding to Mexico. That Mexico is this problem. Mexico is this terrorist state that's fucking the economy. That you know they're stealing their jobs and all that stuff. No, that's not true. That's not true. When I know this for a fact, I work in construction and landscaping. The reason why we take these jobs. It's because it's jobs that most people don't want to do. Let's be honest. How many black Americans you can think of want to be in construction, who want to do cementing all day in the sun? They won't do it. You know why? They'll literally come up to me and they'll tell me, well, you're doing slave work. But yeah, this is this very slave work that they keep talking about that they complain that we stole their jobs from. And this is why I don't understand to black Americans. Why do you care about Mexicans doing these menial jobs? Why do you care? Like, why do you care so much about, I don't care about Mexicans. They lie themselves with white people. I can't stand them. Okay, then. If you can't stand them, if you don't like them, which that's okay. If, if someone told me, say, you know what, fuck Mexico. You know what? That's okay. You don't have to like Mexico. You really don't. I don't. Really, I could give two shits. If you don't like Mexicans, don't talk to them. Don't go near them. Don't go to the country. Just don't go. I'm not. This is something that I keep saying this a lot in my all my videos. Is simply this. Black Americans really need to stop worrying about other groups. Stop worrying about Mexicans. Stop worrying about Dominican Republic. Stop worrying about Brazil. Stop worrying about Panama. Stop worrying about all these countries down in Latin America. Because these groups coming into the United States don't care about your issues because they're not part of your group. What does Mexico have to do with the issues of black Americans? It's not the same thing. Are you going to tell me the issues of People from Sinaloa, it's the same thing with the black community in Chicago, Illinois. It's not the same thing. The same thing regards to Dominicans, to Cubans, to Panamanians, Costa Ricans, Salvadorians, Argentines, Brazilians, Colombians, etc. When they come to the United States, Mexicans included, they're not concerned about black Americans or the black struggle, or the black community in the United States, they don't care. They got their own problems to worry about. Mexicans are not going to come to the United States, hold hands with black Americans, and join forces to fight white supremacy because you have a grudge against white people in America. I don't care about black Americans, nor do I care about white Americans. I don't care because at the end of the day, guess what? You're not going to help anything that's going on in my country. You're not. What have black Americans done for Mexico? Black Americans. Key word. Black Americans. Now, what are you talking about? There's black people in Mexico. No, no, no. no. We're talking about black Americans. What have you done for, for people in Mexico the last 20 years? Nothing at all. So I suggest you shut the fuck up. Besides you guys going down there and like complete whores and sitting around with the men and women of those countries. What else have you done besides that? Nothing at all. But preach about this blackness crap. Again, message to black Americans. Stop worrying about these other groups coming in. Instead, focus on the issues in your own community. Focus on the things that's happening in your own community. 
the Mexicans are not going to hold hands with you and help you out. Puerto Ricans are not going to do that. Dominicans, damn sure, they ain't going to do that crap. Colombians, Brazilians, Argentines, we're not coming to this country to help you guys. That's not our job. That is your job. I'm not black American. So whatever happened back in the so-called, you know, AIDS, the crack epidemic, all that stuff. Well, guess what? I was not part of that because guess what? I'm not from your community. I hate to break the news to you. We got a lot of problems in our countries. A lot of Mexicans have a lot of problems in Mexico. Same thing with Colombians, Central America, South America, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Cuba. We all have problems in our countries. We kind of don't have time to be concerned about black American issues. That is your job. But you guys go all over, man. Blame Mexicans, blame the white men, blame Arabs, Asians, black women. And it's all over YouTube. You gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Oh, they're stealing this, this, the legacy of Martin Luther King. Bro, <laughs> we, they, we, we want to be white. We want to be white. Oh, my. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Listen. Newsflash. I don't want to be white. I don't, I don't want to be aligned with white Americans. I, I, could care, I could care two shits about them. I'm not here to steal the legacy of Martin Luther King. I don't care about that. I really don't. We came here to work, make money, and help our families. That's it. Black Message to black Americans. Stop worrying about these other groups. Stop worrying about Mexicans. Stop worrying about Puerto Ricans or Dominicans. And please focus on your own community. Because Brazilians are not going to come in, hold hands with you, and... And basically, kumbaya with you, they're not your babysitters. The same thing with Dominicans, you always do, but they're black just like us, they're black just like us. So basically, we have to, no, 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 Dominicans are their own different people, and they're not going to come and help you guys. Mexicans are not going to come in and help black Americans, they're not going to do it. It's not their job. I'm going to say this again, it's not our job. <sighs> Once again, I'm going to say this again. Black, it, black Americans, message to black Americans, focus on your own community. The Arabs are not going to help you. The Chinese are not going to help you. Only you guys, the African immigrants are not going to help you. Focus on yourself and the needs that needs to be done, please.